Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tara. I am a farmer in Northern California, just trying to learn the ropes. I farm grain crops with my dad. We just finished corn harvest, and I also have my very own vineyard that I planted in April of 2018. Today, we are planting alfalfa and covering the ground and waiting for rain. If you like these videos, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. It means so much to me. It looks like there's a serious powwow going on over here. I don't know why I wasn't invited. And then Dennis says, yeah, it's just what they're friends with them. It's like a monster truck. We are in the process of planting our alfalfa right now. We prepped all the ground. You guys saw the border maker in another video of mine. And then we actually went over the field with harrows. So it looks like that it was almost planted with a drill, but we have a truck come that broadcasts. So I'm gonna try to show you guys a little bit of how we plant our alfalfa. So there's a big truck out there. He's got arms like a sprayer would. He just was putting his arms out, so he might be starting out there, but I'll definitely get a closer shot of him. But you can see how look it looks like it's been raked. So he'll use a broadcast, and when it comes up, they almost look like they've been planted in rows. can see it looks very similar to a spray rig but he's got a big tank in the back and seeds coming out So that's how we plant. And if you can believe it, I have actually never used our auto steer. So one of our workers is gonna teach me how to use the auto steer and I'm going to be driving the same tractor I drove to pull the bank out wagon. And I'm gonna be pulling some ring rollers to drive over the alfalfa seed. There's the alfalfa seed. There's the fertilizer. So why do we go over it with the ring rollers? Push the seed and fertilizer on the ground. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you know you can't be playing that thing while you're rolling. I don't want my alfalfa to be thousand dollars an acre. Look at that. It's already wet right there, right to the top. Wow. Maybe it'll start growing. Do they use gopher holes other places or is that a Delta thing? What exactly is a gopher hole? <laughs> People aren't gonna know, just say it. Explain what it is. Oh, just come on, get over here. Come on, you can do it. Just before Vicente gets here and then I'll shut it off. I can't explain it. 
Why can't you explain? A gopher hole? So my dad says on video he can't explain what a gopher plow is or a go gopher hole. So as soon as I shut off the camera, he explains it to me perfectly. If you don't know what a gopher hole is, he, he said some people call it a bullet or a torpedo. And he puts a pipe on the bottom of a chisel, single shank, and you start in the side of the ditch and you pull it into the field. And it kind of creates like a tube hole in the field where the water can run out. And it just helps with uh, when you got wet ground, helps the water run out a little bit. And we have a lot of wet ground here. That's part of living on an island. I'm using auto steer for the first time. I can't believe it has taken so long to be honest covering up the alfalfa so this field's already all been broadcasted and i'm pulling ring rollers behind me which you can't even see but it just covers up the seed in the fertilizer there you have it auto steer fancy i feel like this is also very dangerous like, I have a short attention span, I could get bored, and there's a lot of ditches in these fields. So that's the implement I'm pulling. We call it a ring roller. They're just all these little like separate rings that we pull. And the field actually looks pretty nice now. Kind of reminds me of those like sa zen sand boards, but now we just wait for rain. There's currently no rain in the forecast, but we got it all covered and we'll wait for rain and the rain will bring up the alfalfa. So I turn and then over on my computer, I try to line up with this red line. And then I hit the steering wheel button on the computer and then the tractor lines up and I just wait. If I touch the steering wheel, the GPS steering shuts off, the auto steer. So I can't even touch the steering wheel, which is kind of weird. Um, but then when I get to the end, I have to slowly turn it and I hear the auto steer shut off and I can turn and get in the next line. So then a couple times I've started turning and it doesn't turn. Uh, it's me though, because I just like, I don't know if I'm trying to turn too fast or what, but I had to slam on my brakes because I was like, ditch. But yeah. you can see how I'm on like a red line. And then when I turn, I'll be on that red line. And there's the little steering wheel button I touch. So weird. Thanks for recording, fairly simple. It's like to move the camera around without worrying about driving off.
more more precision. It's the ag community trying to better themselves. kind of freaking me out. Just don't touch it. <laughs> this field I'm working in right now is about 65 acres. The field I was working on earlier Day was like 15, 16 acres. So that's like what 80 acres we're planting. And then I don't know how much alfalfa we already have. I'd have to look at my map, which is on my phone, um, and add it up. But we'll have a couple hundred acres of alfalfa now. So yeah. My dad has just been cutting back on corn over the last couple of years. I may have gave the impression in my last video that we went from 800 to 200 in one year, and that's not what happened. Over the last couple of years, he's been pretty much dropping leases as, as they've ended. So we um, do all our home ranch, and we lease two pieces of property right now. It's just, my dad has been wanting to slow down. He's been wanting to plant a little bit more alfalfa, less corn, and you know, when the time comes, I don't know if I'm gonna wanna grow corn. I, I'm just not sure. So weird. Sometimes it just doesn't, the steering didn't, I started turning the wheel, but the steering didn't disengage. There's a ditch in front of me. <sighs> it's only happened a couple times. But this tractor doesn't turn that great, so I've got to catch it in time to turn. The versatiles are so nice because you can practically turn in a complete circle with them. Not this tractor. This is a New Holland T7210. And our versatiles are, we've got a T9030, a T9040, and a T9450. Those are our three. And I know everyone wishes we drove John Deere, but it just somehow it happens. The local dealer is New Holland, and that's why we have New Holland.
I just need to take one moment to appreciate the beauty of this tree. Fall colors are really starting, but that tree is gorgeous. That's a wrap for today. We got all the alfalfa planted and I got about half of it covered. So I'll be in the tractor again tomorrow. If you're new to my channel and you like following my farming adventures, remember to give this video a thumbs up and please hit subscribe. It means so much to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys another day.